Okay, so let's have situation 12. The beam BD shown is fixed at D. This is the beam BD. And is supported by a girder AC at point P. Supported sa by uh, this beam AC. Load P is 14 kilonewtons. And the values of each length are given. Section modulus for both members about the plane of bending is 6.18 times 10 raised to 5 mm cube. The same siya na section modulus. Determine the moment at D. That's the moment or the bending moment at D. Or moment reaction. Maximum bending moment at uh, for beam AC. And the maximum flexural stress in beam AC. Okay. Now, I know yung... Uh, unang-unang iisipin talaga dito. Maraming nagkamali dito sa board exam. Uh, yung moment sa D is simply P times L3. Lagyan muna natin ng values. Yung iisipin, most of the student, automatic P14 times 4 meters. Kung yan yung gagawin mo, mali ka na agad. So, bali the free body diagram here, of course, may reaction dito kay D. And merong bending moment or reaction moment at D. Okay, hindi natin gagawin agad ng 14 times 4. Kasi kung gagawin mo yan, parang walang reaction. I mean, parang walang support dito. Ay, nas is lang natin na pre-end lang siya. I mean, cantilever siya. Walang reaction. Okay, so hindi pwedeng 14 agad times 4. Some of the forces here will be transferred dito sa beam AC. So, paano ba gagawin yan? Now, Yung analysis natin dito is that kung titingnan natin yung uh, elastic curve, gawin na, gawin, na, uh, gawin na lang natin straight lines or sticks, point A, B, C, at point D. After the application of the 14 kilonewton load at point B, ito yung elastic curve ito. So meron silang common deflection. Deflection at B. So, bali, yung deflection ni cantilever, uh, this one, the deflection of BD at point B is delta B, and yung deflection ni AC, okay, at point B is still delta B. The same sila ng deflection at that point, which is yan yung gagamitin natin to solve for the internal reaction dito. Kung i-separate natin yung dalawang beams, so, meron kang reaction dito. And this cannot be equal. Hindi pwedeng mag-equal yan. Kasi kung isipin mo, mag-equal yan, then wala ka ng moment sa D. Matatanggal na siya. Okay? So iba yung value niyan. Tawagin natin siya RB. And that reaction here will be passed dito sa beam AC. Ganun yung mangyari. So kukunin natin yung internal reaction at B. That's the load na ipapasa dito sa member AC. Paano gagawin yan? Okay, let's analyze this first. For that beam, okay, cantilever beam, ito yung free body diagram. O, tinignan natin sa side view. The length is 4 meters, meron kang P, 14 kilonewtons, meron kang reaction, B. Ito yung delta B. Moment at D, and RD. Once masolve natin yan, kuha na natin lahat. Okay, now for the beam AC, ito naman siya. RA, so beam AC is a simply supported beam because binigay na agad yung reaction na ganito. Tawagin kong A, yung 4 meters, B, yung 2 meters. Then, yung RB niyan, mapapasa dito. From that, it will be passed downward. Okay, still the delta B here is equal to the delta B for the cantilever beam. Okay, that means, by the way, Yung formula nito is, uh, kung naalala nyo yung situation 11, binigay yung formulas dito. Formula of the uh, deflection at the pre-end to my concentrated load. PL cube over 3EI. You, uh, we may use that one para hindi na tayo mag-derive. Uh, the same board exam to, kaya alam mo yung formula. Okay. So, ang mangyayari dyan, yung formula nito, you can have that one as P minus RP. So, net 
uh, tao dito not concentrated load at the free end so p minus rb hindi lang p kasi meron kang upward rb e subtract natin yung force na yan para maging net load p l cube over ti now for this one i'm not sure sa board exam kung merong formula dito hindi eh, ako sigurado okay but kung wala man you can derive the formula using uh, any methods but the formula is this yung concentrated load natin wala sa mid span the formula is uh, concentrated load rb a squared b squared over 3ei a plus b okay sa so pagderive nito kung master mo yung uh, tawag dito double integration method you can just assume one unit pwede mong assume one unit pag makuha uh, pag ginamit mo one unit na rb kunin mo yung delta b then yung makuha mo, kung may values yung mga variable yan, makuha mo yung coefficient. But anyway, di ko siya gagawin dito. Masyadong haba. No? So, ito yung formula. Uh, uh, deflection under the concentrated load for a simply supported beam. Now, hindi siya sa midspan ha. Do not use that one. Iba yung for deflection at the midspan. Okay? So, these deflections are equal. Uh, the deflection at B for this cantilever beam is etong formula niya. It's also equal to the deflection at B for the simply supported beam. RBA squared, B squared over 3EI, A plus B. EI is cancelled. Pwede natin makancel. Yung unknown dito is only the B. Okay? P is 14. RB unknown. L nito, yung L dyan, by the way, is for this cantilever beam. So, L is 4 meters. For 3. RB unknown, yung A is 4. B is 2. Over 3, EI. EI is cancelled. A is 4, B is 2. Kuha natin dito ang RB. 12 kN. Again, this, uh, this cannot be equal. Dito pwedeng maging 14. Kasi fiction dyan eh. Again, kung i-equal mo yan, then magka-cancel yung moment. I mean, yung magka-cancel yung force. Walang moment dito sa D. Unless kung simply supported lang siya sa D. Automatic equal yan. Kung simply supported siya sa D. Sasaluin agad lahat ng forces dito sa AC. Okay. Anyway, so kung meron ka ng RB, Lagay ko na siya dito. The moment at D for the number 34 question determine the moment at D. The moment at D is just equals okay, 14. Alright, that is 14 downward minus 12 moment arm is 4. A net force dito. Net force at the preamp. So you have 8 kN. meter. Okay? So, that is letter B. Again, mali yung 14 times uh, L3, ha? Most of the students ginawa yun. Determine the maximum bending moment in beam AC. Okay, maximum bending moment for beam AC. So, for a simply supported beam uh, subject to concentrated load, the maximum moment is uh, under the concentrated load. So, dito yan sa point B. Pwede mo ikat dyan. Pwede mo ikat. Then the moment here is just RA times 4. Pwede rin 2RC times 2. Mupunin mo muna yung reaction. Karoon ka ng concentrated load. Pwede rin, gamitan ko na lang ng formula. Madali rin naman. Concentrated load AB over L. Okay? Sa so 12 kN, A is 4, B is 2 meters, Yung L is the total length of the beam. So, 4 plus 2. You have 16 kN meter. Okay? That is letter C. Again, pag ginawa mo yun, ginawa mo yung P as 14 kN agad, uh, andito yan sa choices. Lalabas na lang. Number 36, determine the maximum flexural stress in beam AC. So, flexural or bending stress. Madali lang using the formula MC over I. But what is given here, by the way, is 
section modulus. Gagamitin natin na formula for the maximum uh, flexural stress is moment over section modulus. Of course, para maging maximum, maximum moment dito. Okay? So, 16 times 10 raised 6. So, that uh, the unit of that moment is Newton millimeters. Ito naman is naka mm cube. 16, uh, 6.18 times 10 raised to 5 mm cube. The resulting unit is megapascal. 25.89. Okay, that's letters, uh, letter D, 26. Megapascal.